Hello, my name is Hope Kaya of Santa Fe webdesign.com. This is a tutorial on how to take advantage of a component called the Image Browser Gallery that is available for Joomla. Now, Joomla is a award winning content management system which enables you to build websites and powerful online applications. I, I use this as a development tool for my websites, so I build my websites in Joomla so that my clients can manage their own content and update their own pages whenever they want. Um, you can learn more about it at Joomla.org and the extension we're talking about, which you need to install, which is free, is the image browser gallery extension. So you can go to the extensions area of Joomla and of course this assumes that your website was built in Joomla and then you can type into the search field image browser gallery. It only lets you put a certain number of letters in there and then search down till you get to the image browser gallery component and it's free and you can download it. Um, your web designer may be the one to do this. It takes a little tweaking to get it to look right and uh, work right. Not too bad, um, but uh, it's a great component. I'm going to show you how it works. This is a website I designed uh, from scratch with a customized template because most Joomla sites have a template look and this is from scratch. You can do that once you learn how if you want or you can use one of the many templates available to you. So the part of the site we're going to be working in is the collage work gallery and this was done with this component, the image browser gallery. You can see how it works here. You click on the image and then you can start scrolling from image to image. You can scroll down and see the, the caption that's put in here. Uh, you can close an image and then start over anywhere you want. It's a really nice light box function that it uses. So um, that's how it looks. And the idea in this tutorial is to teach you how to add a new image. And you can see that the caption shows up when you roll your cursor over, which is really quite nice. So we're going to go, the first thing you need to do, of course, is be looking at your website. and. Uh, that's what we're doing here. And then you need to look at your administrative area and log into your administrative area, which will have the same address as your website, only with the word administrator after a forward slash. You should have a username and password, and then you click log in, and it should look like this. The area that you're going to be going into for image browser gallery is under components and then image browser. As soon as you click on that, you should be able to scroll down and see all the thumbnails that your web designer or you um, representing all the images that you've uploaded to your gallery and all the captions. Okay, You can see that you can have a lot of words in your caption or a few words or even no words. Um, so let's upload an image. and. What I've done is create a folder, and I highly recommend that you create a folder for your images and text that you're going to be uploading. And I created a folder called the Image Browser Tutorial Files for this purpose. So I have an image called imagebrowser.jpg, and I have text called Image Browser. And the text will be what I'm copying and pasting into the caption. And I've done this in, this was, in Word and I so I have it here actually now it's a pages publication because I have pages uh, but Word is fine and then the image and you want to name these files uh, you know to match so you've got the image and you've got the text with the same name okay because you might have 20 or 30 and then you'll want to have two files for each image one of the image and one of the text okay so we're ready to upload oh Actually, we're not. Uh, you see looking here that the dimensions, if you may not be able to see that the dimensions are 800 wide by 565. Well, going back to the administrative area, um, you'll see a parameters button 
or you may not, your web designer may be the only one who's able to see that parameters button, but that can uh, be set so that it tells how wide an image can be maximum and how high. And I've set it for 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. You can set that for anything you want. But based on that, um, you don't want to be uploading anything uh, much bigger than 800 pixels wide because then you'll just be loading up your server with files that are bigger than you need even though image browser itself can make it smaller uh, just you wouldn't want to make it too much bigger than that okay so going back to our back end our administrative area we click on browse and we find that folder that that you created to hold your image and your text and so the first thing we're going to do is upload the text okay, the image I'm sorry and you can see after clicking on it that something shows up here which actually is the, the pathway to your image and then you choose to upload it so upload and let's see if we can find it by scrolling down that was called image browser there it is see how it has it has the file name here and then we can see the image so now we're going to click on generate thumbnail oh we don't need to because there's the thumbnail so it automatically in fact it told us I've had it happen both ways but it told us that we could that it generated a thumbnail if you don't see a thumbnail here you can just click on the generate thumbnail and it, it very nicely generates a thumbnail for you if your image was larger than uh, it should be, you can click on this Process Images link and apply maximum height and width as set up in the parameters window. It will apply to all the images, so it's, it's really better if you just upload the right size. And then you don't have to worry about the thumbnail. It will generate a thumbnail for you. But let's say now we need text for this, right? So we're scrolling down to find it and there it is so we look on click on edit caption and now we open our document where we have the image the text for the image and I'm going to copy that text right out of here you can see there's bolding and italics and returns I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to paste it in here and it's it loses all the bolding it loses all the italics but it appears to keep the paragraph returns. I'm going to click Save. Now we can scroll down and see the text is there. Okay, so let's refresh our gallery. And I'm going to do that by hitting the refresh button here in Firefox. And ah, oh, look, there it is. And when you roll over it, you can see the text appearing. Um, and let's click on the image pretty nice job but look the paragraph returns are gone so just be aware that the paragraph returns are gone are going to be gone they're not going to stay and everything's going to be bold there's not going to be any italics it's just simple formatting which I personally think looks really good okay one last thing let's say you want oh you've already learned how to delete you've already learned how to delete one so we've just added one and that's really all you need to do it's pretty simple let's delete it okay right now delete and it's gone file deleted successfully so if we refresh and you have to remember to refresh because if you think it hasn't changed it may be just because the cache is is remembering the last time you looked at the page okay thanks very much once again this is Hope Kaya of santafe-webdesign.com. Enjoy the Image Browser Gallery in Joomla.